Real quick guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to announce that I'm going to be giving away two battle passes over the Christmas season, just as a small thank you to all of you. We just reached 1.5k subs, which is just truly amazing to think about. And all you need to know about the giveaway is going to be down in the description. And without any further ado, so let's get straight into today's topic. And in today's video, I'm not only going to show you the best Chapter 2 Season 5 Fortnite settings, I'm not only going to go over all the modes which are in the game right now, like the new performance mode and DirectX 12, also on top of that I'm going to show you the best optimizations and tweaks for your Windows settings to actually gain more FPS while gaming. And I know a lot of people are scared to actually change something in their Windows settings, but trust me guys, everything I show you is 100% proven by me and it's not gonna mess up with everything you've got. And now let's get straight into the settings. And yeah guys, as you can see right now, we're in the Fortnite Battle Royale display settings and for the first category display, I would 100% recommend you to keep window mode on full screen. If you're gonna put it on windowed full screen or windowed itself, you're gonna be at a disadvantage 100% since full screen is just the best way Fortnite works and any other mode will give you on top input delay or even less FPS. So just make sure to keep this 100% at full screen. Then next up for the resolution, just simply put whatever your display resolution is. For me, it's just native 1080p with 240Hz. Um, my frame limit, I actually try this only on unlimited because of the new um, performance mode. So I can actually try out how many FPS I could get. But since I'm playing on 240FPS, um, 240Hz, I would definitely keep this on 240FPS or maybe 360 but keep in mind guys, if your display can only let's say show 240Hz or 144Hz and you put it at anything above that, your PC is just gonna work way more, get more warm and over the longer terms you're gonna lose some FPS because your PC is just gonna get more and more warm and that's gonna reduce your FPS since temperatures yeah, provide your PC to struggle more. That's the best way I could say it probably. Um, then next up for the graphic settings. Brightness, I just kept it on 100 since I don't really use a colorblind mode at the moment. I've heard though from some people that this first colorblind mode with 120 brightness works the best for most pro players right now. Um, yeah, but for me, I just simply didn't use it. I didn't get any advantages of it right now. It just looks weird in my opinion. This is all personal preference, guys, for the colorblind mode. Then next up with the graphics quality, as you can see just for the video recordings I keep everything on epic. Usually I got everything on low with the 3D resolution set to 100% uh, just to gain the most FPS out of my game. Um, yeah, next up for the advanced graphics, you can see we got VSync here turned off. Since my monitor does use G-Sync, if your monitor does use any sort of sync technology, whether it's FreeSync on the AMD side or G-Sync on the Nvidia side, make sure to turn VSync off definitely. This is just for monitors, which are like straight up 60Hz and don't have any sync technology, then you make sure to keep VSync on definitely. Um, motion blur, just keep that off, you don't want a blurry image, especially in a battle royale competitive shooter. Um, show FPS, obviously you can turn that on. Now for the rendering mode, I have to admit guys, um, the new performance mode does give me the best FPS, but for me it just looks really weird and odd and I have to get used to it. Um, I'm trying at least the last few days, I can definitely see a huge FPS improvement, I'm gonna do definitely a new video on that in the next few days. Uh, where I compare the performance mode to DirectX 11 and 12 in certain areas of the map and certain situations. But um, at the moment right now, I would say DirectX 11 does still look the best. DirectX 12 does not work that good right now for me, for my graphics card. I don't know why is that. It's still in the better, as you can see. And the new performance mode obviously gives you the most FPS, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it looks really weird and odd in my opinion. Um, for the next one, allow multi-thread rendering. If you've got a CPU which got more than 4 cores, definitely make sure to turn this on. You can check this really easily in the task manager. And basically what this does is it allows your CPU to utilize more cores for Fortnite especially and more threads. Um, so let's say you've got like an i7 9700K, then you've got yourself, I think it's a 8 core, 8 thread CPU. So yeah, definitely turn it on. If you've got like a lower end CPU or like a lower end i5 or something, make sure to keep this off. Um, use GPU crash debugging, definitely turn this off. This is just something for Fortnite, so when there is any in-game error, they can collect data, but it simply just puts load on your graphics card, on your GPU, on your system overall, and you're gonna lose FPS 100%. Um, then latency markers, definitely keep this on off. This does not really work the best for me right now. Um, NVIDIA reflects low latency. If you've got a newer NVIDIA card, definitely put this on on and boost. You will see a huge improvement in terms of FPS and um, lower input delay. 
for the latency flash i do keep this on off this also does not work the best for me right now i don't know this is all just still in the beta guys as you know all these modes nvidia just came around like two months with it or one and a half months so this is also in the testing in the testing area um dlss i do keep this on off i know you can put this probably on performance and it will do the same as the performance mode um it will just make your game the render the render quality of your game way lower um, some objects are not gonna be as detailed, but for me as mentioned it just looks odd, it just looks weird and I'm just trying to get used to the performance mode right now. If you want to get the most FPS out of this right now, try to stick to the performance mode. If you want to go for visuals, go for DirectX 11 and everything on low. So you still get a clean image, but the most FPS you can probably get. And yeah guys, for the next part we moved over to the in-game settings and as you can see under the first category matchmaking region, Always make 100% sure to put in your current region you're staying at, since if you keep it on auto, it will probably even showcase you the same amount of ping, but Fortnite will preferably give you the best server which is around here in your near location, better said, and yeah, it will just reduce your overall input delay and in-game ping, so just make sure to select your current region, and for me it's Europe. Then for the next ones, all of these settings here are personal preference, I do use edit on release on and sprint by default, so you can simply copy them if you want my exact settings. And under the category replay, as you can see, I've got everything turned off. And this has a reason, this will all put like loads on your GPU and your system overall. And you just want to make sure to keep all of these here off. So you get the best amount of FPS possible your PC can put out. Since this does always like work in the background, that's the best way I can describe it. And you're going to lose tons of FPS there. If you have content creator, then yeah, obviously turn it on. But other than that, we're trying to aim for the best performance here, so definitely turn them off. And yeah, let's move on to the next settings. And yeah guys, the first optimization step would be simply to open your registry and search down exactly that same location I'm going to show you right now here in the video. Um, everything is going to be down in the video description again, step by step. And just disable Cortana. This is super easy to do and Cortana just simply take a huge chunk of our overall system power which we could use for gaming. So just simply make sure to copy all of these steps and you're good to go. And this is it for the first step. And now for the final part, we just simply want to make sure your PC is running at its max performance. So just make sure to copy the entire line I'm going to put down in the description, paste it into your CMD and make sure to run the CMD as an administrator for it to work 100%. And then go over to your energy settings and just simply select ultimate performance mode. This will make sure your PC is running at its fullest potential. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and a comment, it would help me out tons. And maybe even consider subscribing. And the next few videos are probably going to be around the new performance mode, colorblind settings and some other stuff I got there backed up for you. And don't forget to enter the giveaway, it's going to be everything explained down in the video description or in the pinned comment, I don't know right now. And yeah, until next time, have a great day, have a great night, whenever you're watching this, stay awesome. My name is Michael, peace. Don't forget to use support to create a code, baby.